Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. This video is about Control plus Shift plus D, which is the hotkey for step and repeat. I'm going to go ahead and close that. So at any time, when you're working with something, if you want to hold down the Control, Shift, and D, the docker will open up. And if you want to do it, these are 12 inch lines. Just show you how valuable this. This is the horizontal. It's going to two inches to the right, and the vertical is no offset. Hit apply, and then hit the horizontal one. Go right up here and put no offset. And to get it to go left or right, you need to go spacing between objects on both of them. And we're going to go down. You can go up, but if you're going to go down and hit six, and now you've made a square with six squares on each side just by holding down the control shift and D key to get to the step and repeat, which is always right there anyway. But commonly I will do this and it's a pretty cool deal because you can do anything with it. You know, if you're going to, um, well, I'm going to hold down the alt key and get rid of these lines and just get my original two lines. And you can do a lot with this, but if you go to control shift D and you don't use space between objects and you just go offset, it'll offset them six, but you don't have any control if it goes up or down. So you need to go, instead of offset, you need to go space it between objects. And you can do any amount. We could do just, this is really cool. So we're gonna do 12 now and have them go one inch apart. And in that quick of one button, I made six lines without going control D and moving them down and figuring them out. Um, it's a lot better, cleaner process. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.